to Pink Moon. Ethelist. Antinatalist plus. It's just life spelled backwards. It's just a way of saying I believe that there's something fundamentally broken in the natural mechanism. It is unintelligent design and that has a consequence. Unintelligent design means insufficient efficiency in the system. The product of the system, the living things, are likewise not likely to be efficiently functioning consuming more than they produce. They have nothing they can produce. So I've used terms like zero-sum gain to describe life is you're basically just stealing energy perpetually to replicate a molecule. Overall, it's just four billion years of molecular modification. You're just modifying molecules, declaring a winner based on this crude standard of victory. Yeah, through that process it acquires complexity, but the basic function is the same. The function is survival by any means possible. Whatever can happen, can happen. No umpires, no rules, no Marcus of Queensberry sophistication, just a blood sport for nothing. Nothing in the end, just a raised hand, I win, you die, just to play it all over again. There's no escaping the game, and it's a crude and stupid game. So that's why life is spelled backwards. It is contrary to anything progressive. There's no forward vision here. There's no place for the game to go. The only function our intelligence has is cleaning up the mess our biology makes. Our needs, desires, our addictions. It's consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, addiction. Consuming for the sake of replicating a molecule, we do it through cannibalizing our own sentient kind through a process of natural addictions. Built-in mechanisms that make us hungry for a carrot, and the carrot is made out of contrived feelings of value, senses of value, that have no real substance, that they're just there because they make us eat and procreate. It's necessary to sustain the chemical composition, the variety of chemistry, the shape of a molecule. And that's it. That's not good enough. And so that's the simple description. It's that it's an insufficient game, like tic-tac-toe. Once you're intelligent, it doesn't have any... There's no playability. It's a game for dumb things, and that's what life is. It's a game for dumb things. Smart things aren't going to find it graceful enough, or fair enough, or just enough, or reasonable, or sensible. They're going to find it just expensive, and um, futile, and foolish. It can only satisfy perceptual value. Our civilization would not be missed. It's only our attachment that makes it seem important. And it's just for that sake of a seemed perception that we impose all this wasted suffering, all these organisms that are existing in the slaughterhouse, that someday will pick the short straw, they'll meet their individual doom, and the straws will just keep being pulled. Names will change, and our faces will change, but the stories will be the same. It'll be the same tragedy, the same stupid waste, um, the same jeopardy, the same screams, for nothing, to accomplish nothing but to satisfy a notion in heads that says we need to be here. Nothing else, just a notion in their head. Nothing real. We're not a tire on the universe's car. We're not anything that can be described as a functional device in terms of use, purpose, or function. As stated, our intelligence only exists because it was a scheming tool, because it made us better at stealing star energy from other organisms. And that's the only reason why it exists. And it still remains its only function is to be used as a scheming tool to derive gratification or satisfaction of our selfish individual desires. And most of the human race is completely still owned by that nonsense. They're still, they still um, are more obedient to the notions of family superiority, nepotism, nationalism, racism, than they are devoted to any high-minded ideal of civilization, or decency, or justice, or fairness. Life is a sad and tragic story in nature, and humanity has done nothing to write a better chapter in the life book. We've disgraced our intelligence, insulted it, brutalized it, perverted it to um, sick and 
depraved purposes. And it's all over our culture, all over our economic systems, all over our entertainment. And again, it's at this price of the suffering. I and mean, I could go on to the suffering forever. You could explain, describe the horrible death that will be the fate of most sentient creatures. There will be a, a last gasp, and there won't be any fun. There will be a long, uh, hard, nasty, ugly road uh, to that last breath. Pretend they're all yachting, even though they're on the Titanic, and the truth is written everywhere, if they'll open their eyes and look at it, that they're on a boat that's going to sink, and uh, they should do something 